today I'm going to show you some things you can do for free to improve the performance under the hood of an 03 Ford Expedition 2 valve V8 I've already done the exhaust so the next step is get the intake to breathe better and I will show you a technique that you can do it for free and it will mostly be a cold air intake because I'm not getting rid of any of the factory intakes that inlet cold air I'm just cutting off the bottleneck which is right there that where that six seven inches goes to three then goes to an inch and a half and gets smaller and smaller so yes i'm going to show you you can remove the intake box cut right there and that'll allow the air filter to breathe out of probably around 85 percent more airflow so when the by getting rid of bald on the bottlenecks that restrict flow in turn you're gaining very little bits of performance especially at wide open throttle when you have the throttle plate completely open the less resistance on the air intake assembly the more cool performance flowing air will go in there so the other thing i was going to do is remove this heat shield which keeps a lot of heat on the engine as well as this engine cover here you remove that and that's just all that less hot air under the hood and that hot the hot air will escape and the engine will be cooler under the hood which that helps with everything including intake temperature because you're constantly getting cool air in and the hot air is coming out not being trapped under the engine under the engine bay so more to follow first thing i'm going to do is take this cat claw here and put it under these plastic pop rivets and pop all of these off so I can remove that hood blanket which just keeps all that hot air inside. More to follow. There we go. There's the heat blanket removed. Popped all those rivets. And now all the hot air can escape from the top because heat rises it can escape out the direction of the window and even help as a defroster in the winter time because the underhood heat temperatures will be blown towards the windshield so that's an extra beneficiary as well as keeping the underhood temperatures cooler more to follow next order of business is removing this latch, undoing that screw, taking this intake assembly off so it can be trimmed right here and reinstalled. Plus you can inspect the condition of the air filter at the same time. I'm also going to remove those two bolts, take off that center cover which is doing no good, and more to follow. Well, look at this air cleaner. I just removed it. Remove that intake part right there, which holds the MAF sensor. Right down there. There's the intake leading to the intake manifold. Doing my best to hold this thing steady, but my damn wrists, they just don't hold anything steady. This little intake filter looks like a little jet engine, doesn't it? The tail of a jet engine. So for now, I'm just going to blow it out, put it back in, even though it's dirty. I just want to show you how to do a free intake mod on these 5.4 Ford Expeditions with this style of filter. It's just as easy as removing all this, taking all this off and cutting it right at that line. And it's going to breathe, breathe out the whole air filter instead of just this small area down here, which is like an inch and a half that it breaks down to. So, granted, you're only is you're only getting as much air as your throttle plate. However, when your throttle plate cracks open, 
resistance is resistance. So the more negative resistance on the air, meaning the air has forces not allowing it to draw in as much every time the piston goes down on the downstroke, it draws air. The least restriction in the intake makes it draw that much more air, even if you have a throttle plate. Because the more you open that throttle plate, the more air you're going to get, and the less restriction on the intake is more air. It's not a lot of power, not like forced induction, like supercharging and turbocharging, but it is a significant amount of low end torque and power gain because it's just minute little bits less air restriction on your intake system. And putting a performance muffler on your exhaust, which gives you less back pressure and resistance for the engine pushing the exhaust out the engine. So the easier it is for the engine, the engine doesn't have to work as hard to suck or work as hard to blow. Therefore, giving you just a little bit more power, like maybe 20 horse, 15, 20 horse, 15, 20 pound feet of torque, depending on the vehicle, whether you're turbo or not, that makes a huge difference. So just my little philosophy on things. I'm gonna cut that intake right there, put it all back together, take that center cover off, more to follow. When you're done, you just pull straight up because it's got these little push pin things down there. And then you can work on your custom intake. So normally you only get air from this little thing right here. Then it gets channeled to an inch and a half. It's like, what airflow? But you got cold air coming from down there and all around. And of course that dumb little hole right there. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to cut that bit, put it together, and more to follow. I'll show you the finished product. Free intake. No money spent. The only thing you got to buy is a new air filter. This one's dirty. I'm going to change it. But I'm just showing you how to do this, you know, so you know how to do it. But I'm going to put a brand new air filter on there, but just not right now because I'm doing this video. After I get done with the video, now that I know the oil air filter is dirty, I'm going to buy a new one, put it in. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to do the concept of a free intake. Free intake upgrade, improved breathing, and I removed that ugly engine color cover. Now you can see the entire engine and get to your coils when it comes time to change them. So you can see the rest of your engine. You'll be able to check how dirty your throttle body is. There's all kinds of things you can do now when you got that ugly ass cover off, as well as the factory ugly intake. So. More to follow, I'm going to show you the free intake mod for these 5.4 equipped Ford Expeditions. More to follow. Now I'm going to show you the before after results. Here's the hole you had to breathe in before. Here's the new hole you're breathing out of. So look at that. That's the whole air cleaner, see? You're breathing out of the whole air cleaner, which before... Look at that, you're not even breathing out of the whole air cleaner, see? This little bottleneck doesn't even fit the little uh, torpedo. So instead of this little hole, you got this big hole to breathe out of. So the air filter uses every little inch of its filter and gets air, less resistance. When the piston goes down and the throttle plate opens, there's less resistance, so more air is moved. Even if it's just minute amount of air, it makes a difference once the RPMs and the throttle plate open to full throttle. It makes a nice big difference then. So, last things I'm going to remove. These ugly things that's which, which are not necessary. They're all connected, so that's going to go bye-bye. Then I'll put the filter back together and show you the finished results. Alright, more to follow. I've removed this thing, and look at this. This is the little thing that we get air out of for this whole big air filter. Look at this thing. This little reverse trumpet here. Look at this dumb little thing here. This is the only air you're getting for this entire air box. Give your intake a wake up call. That's all you're breathing out of. Well, I still got the vent there so you can get all the air, but instead of breathing out of this tiny little, barely 
inch and a half hole, you're breathing out of almost eight and a half inches of circumference, which is the whole air filter instead of this little reverse trumpet. That's all you're breathing out of. This hungry V8 air, this hungry V8 engine needs air. Give me air, says the air filter. And look at that tiny little reverse trumpet. Well, I just had to show you that because I finally pulled out the smallest bottleneck of the intake. Just like the factory muffler on the exhaust, that 40 pound muffler is the bottleneck of the exhaust. The intake bottleneck is here. The exhaust is that 40 pound boat anchor of a muffler. Once you remove the bottlenecks, everything else is good. The tubing's fine. Everything's fine. Just remove the bottlenecks. And that's the secret to getting free performance that costs no money. So you, here's the finished product. As you can see, that turbine little air cleaner looking thing. Look at all the air it's getting now. Whereas before, it was only getting air out of this little reverse trumpet. And the cold air comes in from here, goes straight over to here. Plus under hood air comes through as well and kind of gives it a lot more airflow than an inch and a half. So you're getting all this inflow now and it was absolutely free. You don't have to pay any money for this. Free budget intake mod. Of course, I recommend getting a brand new filter, which I'm gonna do right after this video. I figure I'd let you hear the sound difference. Before you couldn't hear any intake at all, since you're only as big as your throttle plate. However, less restriction is less restriction. You can hear the less restriction and feel the more power you're getting in low end torque. A few horsepower is a few horsepower. That's the way I look at it. A little bit of inlet improvement is a little bit of air inlet improvement. I hope you like this video and more to follow. Mad Thursday.